What's up legends? Today we're going to be opening up this EV Heroes VMAX special set. And uh, we're gonna find out what the pull rates are for this box specifically. And I'm gonna find out, you know, if it was actually worth my $50 investment into this, which is actually triple the amount of what it originally was on the Pokemon Center Japan website. So if you've been eyeing this product, hopefully this video can help you determine if it's right for you. Now, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke. And after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that nostalgic feeling from my childhood. So I hope you'll hit subscribe below to come along the journey with me. But since I got back into collecting Pokemon cards pretty recently, this has been the set that I've been most excited about because I'm a big fan of the Evolutions. Now, when it did first come out, I actually did enter their lottery system on the Pokemon Center Japan website in an attempt to try and buy any one of these products. There were three different products that they had available, and uh, if I would have won, it actually I would have used basically a proxy service to get it shipped to me. But unfortunately, I did not uh, get selected within their lottery system. So now two months has gone by since the release of Eevee Heroes, and I've just been patiently waiting for them to either um, add it back to their website or for the prices to drop in, in the secondhand market. But to be honest, they really have it. Um, when this set first came out, this box in particular was about 1800 yen, which is about 17 US dollars. And again, like I said, I paid $50 for this, so triple the amount. Now, if you factor in the cost of a proxy service or some sort of third party service, you know, it's probably more like double um, because you do have to pay them their fee. But um, still, uh, I was still not hoping to have to pay this much. In fact, I wanted to pay for um, one of their booster boxes or even that special set that included that awesome um, Espeon promo card. Man, I really want that card, but the price of it has gone up so much. And so even the booster box, you know, right now is between 100 and $125 on eBay. And if you wanted to get that special set, it comes with two booster boxes plus the promo card, you're looking at paying about 400, almost $500 for that, which is just crazy. So between all this, you're probably wondering, is it even worth it? Well, I think that there are a few factors in this. One, of course, is going to be the pool rates. Now, of course, we know that the new Evolving Skies, which is coming out pretty soon, is going to include a lot of these cards. Um, however, I've found that a lot of the Japanese sets seem to have some better pull rates than some of the English sets. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I know at least some of them, like Shiny Star V, are definitely like that. Um, so anyway, we'll find out pretty soon what the pull rates are like when we open this up. Um, another factor is, you know, if you are looking at this from, as an investment, um, I think it's always going to be a better investment just to buy the individual cards that you really like. But I do also think that based on how this uh, set has been released and the popularity of it, I think if you were to buy this box and just hold on to it for a few years, I think it would actually raise in value quite a bit, even if it tends to go down just a little bit um, in the next few months. Now, what I'm basing that on is the fact that it is in quite high demand and it's brought the prices up quite significantly and it's stayed that way for a while, but also the fact that Pokemon Center Japan had to implement this lottery system for the first time. And so that just shows that there was um, a lot of demand for this. This is a really popular set, again, because people love the Evolutions. And then, of course, I think a third factor you just have to determine for yourself, do you like this set? Do you like the Evolutions enough to invest enough and just uh, enjoy getting to open it? For me, that was worth it because I do enjoy those uh, different Pokemon. Um, but again, for you, maybe $50 is not worth it just to get uh, about eight packs, which is in this. But anyway, we're going to open this up now and figure out what the pool rates are. Hopefully at the end, you can kind of determine whether it's worth it for you, and I'll also be able to find out if it was worth it for me. So let's jump in. I will say, if you are someone who wants to open this set, there definitely are some other options than just paying $50 for a box like this or even more. Um, you can go through eBay. You might be able to find someone selling individual packs or loose packs. Um, what I did, and you can check my link in the, the uh, card above or in the description below, I actually bought some through Whatnot and got a decent deal off of them. And if uh, any of you seen that video, I actually pulled this uh, Vaporeon, so that was pretty cool. 
Um, if you guys are interested in whatnot, again, it's a uh, live stream platform where you can bid on things like Pokemon cards and other collectibles and often get some pretty good deals. So if you use, you use my link in the description below, you can actually get a $3 credit towards it. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and open this up. I think there's a pretty easy way to open it straight from the bottom. So where I got this from was from eBay. I found a seller that uh, is in Japan, but they had over a thousand reviews and it actually was 100% positive reviews, at least um, that was what it said there. So I feel like you definitely need to have a very high standard for when you get products from eBay, especially Pokemon cards. Let's see here. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't honestly buy any Pokemon cards from a seller that didn't have at least 100 reviews and have, um, I would say, 99% and above. And again, this one had 100%. So I feel pretty good about it. I think we'll, we'll be okay. Let's pull this out real quick. And I'll, of course, include the link to that eBay seller in the description below. Assuming that this ends up being legitimate, you guys can pick up your own box. Awesome. So again, eight packs in here, plus the special VMAX pack, which will save that for last. We are guaranteed at least one VMAX. We don't know exactly what it's going to be, but that's uh, the fun of it. Stick that up there for now. All right, and now you guys get to watch me yet again struggle to open up Japanese packs because they are a little challenging. They don't quite work the same way, but I am seeing this actually does have a little slit here. I don't remember that being in some of the other packs before, so let's try that. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that was so much easier. I don't, I don't know what I was doing before. I don't remember ever seeing that slit there before. So this is pretty cool, pretty exciting. have this little card then usually I got yeah one to the front let's go guys first card we've got a really cool electrode Meowth Tadpole a holographic Eldegoss I think and that's it for that one all right so we got at least a hollow not bad wow this slit it's literally right here. I'm so confused. I really don't remember seeing this on the last Japanese packs I opened. All right, so. Because there, there are other ways to open them. There, I guess there's also like a little slit usually down here somewhere, but I don't know why you would even bother with how easy that was. All right. We have a trainer of some sort. Um, Goss, Goss Floor, maybe? I don't know. Eevee, I always love this card. And the cool thing about this card is you have that Rayquaza in the background, just kind of foreshadowing that Evolving Skies is the uh, kind of the next set coming out, or whatever the Japanese version of that is. I think Sky Sky stream, I think. Anyway. Pincer. And that's the rare. Or that's that that's that for that one. Stick that up there. I don't know if we're guaranteed any sort of uh, rare or V or V Max in here. Well, of course, we are guaranteed the VMAX, but I mean in the packs themselves. We shall find out. First card we have. Oh, I know his name, but I can't remember. Anyway. Spider. Manatee. And some sort of trainer starfish thing. Next pack down the middle. Sometimes it rips all the way, sometimes it doesn't. Here we 
Here we go. Ooh, nice. Kangaskhan doing a sidekick with its big chunky legs. That's a pretty cool card. I like that. Got so many of this guy. Man-eating plant. As a Meryl. I don't think I have that one. That's cool. And, oh, we have something. Oh, man. What is this? We have a... Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! That is definitely one of the ones I wanted. Espeon is my favorite evolution, I think. I think I bumped him up to being my favorite, or her, whatever you designate them. Wow. Let's look at the condition quick. I mean, Japanese cards always have great condition. It's a little bit bent, if you can kind of see that. Not bent, but just kind of like warped a little bit. But yeah, that is awesome. All right, need a sleeve. Awesome. Of course, I know there's better cards in here. We're definitely chasing those alt arts, ideally, but I will take that. All right, next pack. Okay. Uno. Wish I knew how to say one in Japanese. Trainer, that guy. Another electrode, it appears. Or is that Voltarb? I can't remember, but it's kind of cool. I like the color in that. Um, still forget his name, but it's another version of him. Why can I not remember who he is, anyway? Oh, and a hollow. Um, Man, yeah, can't remember his name either, but pretty cool. Very nice. That one went clean down there. That's good. I know there's a hollow Raichu in the set, so I'd love to get that. Here we go. Trainer. painting. Oh yeah, one thing I'll mention about this set, which is pretty cool, is you'll see that he's kind of like painting the ground. And a lot of these cards, you'll actually see this paint in uh, other scenes. So it's kind of cool how they connect all the cards. I like when they add those little details. Spider on the beach. And I have no idea. All right. Last two packs before the VMAX pack. First we have a little sun moon thing. Maybe it might be like a badge or something. Is it Zerua? Or maybe that's the name of this. Is that, is that Zerua? Or, I don't know. They evolve to each other, so anyway. It's like the uh, budget Magikarp. And lastly, got a Persian. Cool. All right. If you're interested to know if you're just expected to get one full art per box, let's find out in this last pack. Sort of thing. 
electric eel, screeching eels, um, I should know this too, anyway, doesn't matter, oh yeah, Pikachu, I like that, that's pretty cool, I have a panda, and we do have something else here, I'm not quite sure if it's a full art or not, all right, moment of truth, we have a, okay, is that um, Tornadus or one of those Pokemon? It's pretty cool looking. All right, I'll take it. Stick those guys up here. Now, we do have a VMAX pack. what order this is in. It comes with a few cards. I think some of these might be energies. One to the front. Electric. That's a hollow electric. Really cool. And underneath. Okay, whatever that is. Oh yeah, we got all electrics, I think, is how it works. Ending off on, of course, the Jolteon VMAX. Very nice. So no full arts today, but so far this uh, this box did not disappoint in my opinion. Let's get a sleeve on him or her. I guess I do tend to think of the evolutions as female. Look at that. Looks great. Plus we got a few cool hollows as well. Well, I don't know if it's worth $50, but I definitely enjoyed this. I think it was it was worth it for the enjoyment factor of it. Just remember, you know, you definitely want to make some good financial purchases, but sometimes it's not about getting the cards that are worth what you're paying for. It's sometimes just about the enjoyment factor. So well, thanks so much for joining me today. If you like this video, I think you'll wanna check out one of these videos on screen next. Also subscribe for more Pokemon card hunts and openings in the future. And don't forget that no matter what you've done in your past, God loves you, he has an awesome plan for your life. I'll catch you guys next time.